Don't judge me, my hair looks like poop today. Also, it's really dark in this room, I apologize. It is raining. Although the last time when I said I was sending rain to LA, it actually worked. So this time I'm gonna send it to San Diego because you guys asked for it. So I'm taking the rain and I'm bringing it to San Diego. Hopefully you still need it. And hopefully you get it, because that was, I felt really proud of myself. Also, do you like my new plant? I got it as a birthday gift from my friend Angela. Thank you, Angela. Hopefully I don't kill it by tomorrow. Black thumb. I kind of had to like keep moving them around because it kind of looked like I had a, like a flower arm like coming out of my shoulder, like rah! But, um, what was I saying? Yes, today. Today's video is, I forgot what I was talking about. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys again about some Pinterest hacks that I found online and I wanted to test them out for you guys and see if they actually work. And I thought this one was fairly timely since a lot of you are going back to school and even if you're not going back to school, like, you still get into that same back to school mindset. I feel like September is just this, this new like, I need to reorganize things and buy pens. I need all the pens. So I thought I would sort of test out a whole bunch of different hacks as they relate to organizing your desk and organizing your room and office space and all that kind of stuff um, using items that perhaps weren't normally supposed to be used for said room. So the first one I found was actually regarding closet organization and I'm pointing this way because my closet directly in front of me. Behind you guys, you can't see it. So this one is about organizing your scarf collection. Now I personally have like a thing behind the door where I hang all of my scarves and I find that to be really good and sort of out of the way, but I know that's not for everyone. But they say to hang it up using the um, shower curtain rod on a hanger, like so. And you just sort of thread your, this is really annoying. I need to hold these still. Shh. And they say if you thread your scarves through, you can then hang it in your closet and it will take up less space. Perhaps if you are in a small apartment or in a dorm or something, it'll just take up less space than say, you know, piling it on a shared room behind the door. Because I feel like roommates wouldn't really appreciate that. Unless I, I guess if you're sharing the space, I don't know how many scarves you have. The pros to this, if you live in a hot climate and you're just using sort of the really light and breezy scarves, this is really good because it's easy to pull them off, it's easy to put them in and go on your way, blah, 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 blah. If you live in a cold climate and you have a lot of big scarves, like my big giant blanket scarf, they are very difficult to thread through. They're very bulky and also, I also wanted to test these wire ones because A, they look pretty and I feel like most people want the pretty ones. I wanted to know if the clasp part where you would like hook them on would catch on your scarves because obviously I don't want you ruining your scarves. So I will say, I will pull this one off so I can show you up close what it did. It's my big blanket scarf and so it just grabbed a bunch of wool fibers and held onto them for dear life. Oh, and don't mind my nails. Oh man, they're really bad. I really need to redo them. I just haven't had time today, I'm sorry. And also if you're hanging this sideways like this, like that takes up a lot of space and like you really have to like pull the whole thing out or like really like pull your clothes aside. I don't know how stuffed your closet is, but mine is pretty stuffed. So in order to be able to see what scarves you have and if you have a lot of scarves, that's gonna be really heavy and annoying and bulky and like not, I don't know, not worth it. That's like the width of like what, like two or three like two or three pairs of jeans. Like I personally would rather hang my scarves on the back of the door and have three extra pairs of jeans in my closet. But that's just me. So yeah, I guess overall, if you live in a warm climate, this works, otherwise, pfft. So for hack number two, it involves using a spice rack as something that you would hold all of your desk supplies in. And so I found this one and um, decided to try and fill it up with some stuff. It's actually really hard finding a spice rack, first of all. So if you have like an old one lying around, like, I would do that. It was actually more expensive to get them without the spices in them than with. Tell me the logic in this because I don't understand. So I got some desks of supplies. That was fun. Uno secanto while I fill these. Okay, so finished filling it with some stuff and wanted to update. The bottom looked really cute. Like, it has all these different um, adorable things in it that are office related. But then I couldn't think of anything else to fill. Like I got so desperate that I put in like, like white out into the container. Like why would, why, why would you do that? So I tried the whole like putting the pencils in, but the problem is, is that 
when you put it in, it requires the lid in order to sit it in properly. So that doesn't work. Like, I think this is a really cute idea. I just think this is like way too big. So I think if you can find one that's a little bit smaller, oh my gosh, things are flying off. I already broke that off. I don't even know where that is, but yeah kind of cute. I like it. For tip number three, it is about using those utensil containers for the drawers um, for your office supplies. And this is something that I think a lot of people do and it's a really, really good idea. And so I wanted to jazz mine up a bit and just see what it would look like if it was spray painted. And this is how it turned out. So I took a really, really cheap one. This one I bought at Walmart. It's like a cheap plastic one. And I um, spray painted it sort of like a robin's egg blue. And I think it's really cute. And like you can put all your pens and pencils, highlights, your sticky post-its, your um, little binder clip things, like everything will fit in here. If you're going to a dorm and you don't know the size of drawers, if you have drawers, a lot of dorms, FYI, do not have drawers throwing that out there for y'all. They have like one drawer and you're like, why? Why would you do this to me? Just make sure that it has a lot of different compartments in it and that it's a little bit smaller, maybe made more for like an apartment or like a smaller kitchen because then you'll know for sure that it will fit in most drawers. I think this is a win. What do you think? Do we like it? Yes? I think so. For tip number four is taking one of those plain dish drying racks and transforming it into something that can be used to hold different um, folders. And I thought that was pretty cool, but it looks kind of and so I spray painted it and now I'm gonna see what it looks like on my desk. This is what it looks like without the feet and without the basket thing. Um, and uh, as you can see, the folders do fit inside of it. I don't know. It's still a dish rack to me. I like it because it's blue, so it makes it like you have to double take for a second and be like, wait, what is that? How did, where did, I think for me personally, I wouldn't use something like that because I like keeping my folders more private. Because oftentimes they contain like, important things like tax forms and whatever. But if it's for school supplies or to-do lists or just things to put away or receipts to store or whatever, that kind of thing, I think that's totally cool. And it's also a good reminder as well, let's be honest, to like make sure that you're continuing to follow your things and not ending up just stacking them all in the kitchen like I do most days. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so guilty of that. For number five, it is a sort of a DIY uh, goals chart. I decided to create one that was more of like a long-term monthly goals list. Beyond just the everyday, what other things do I want to accomplish? So I just took a piece of Bristol board and I cut it down so that it fit three post-it notes across and two post-it notes down, plus a little room for a header and then I just decorated it. I made sure to outline all of the post-it notes in like pretty decorations. I used um, metallic sharpies because who doesn't love a good metallic sharpie, right? This just makes sure like when you replace them every month then you know where they need to go because if you're like me you like things to be all in a line and you'll notice that when I was cutting this out I used a Kat Von D shade and light palette as a ruler because I don't have a ruler. <laughs> Hashtag too much makeup. So this is the one I ended up creating for myself for the month. So it just says goals for August. And then I have um, six different goals that I have for myself. Leave me a comment below and let me know what maybe goals you have for the month. And show me if you create these, um, tag me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever because I wanna see yours because I think it's just really cool and kind of fun to like see what other goals people have. I really like this, big thumbs up for me. And number six, that is, <laughs> that is <laughs> I'm just pointing to myself right now. For number six, um, it is using a shower caddy, you know, those like things that go over top of the nozzle that like sprays the water. What kind of an action is that? This is how I shower. It is using that and putting it on the wall to sort of organize all of your various school supplies and things like that. Make sure if you're getting one that it has a little rubber thing on the top of it so that it doesn't like slide all over the place when you're trying to like hang stuff up. So what I did is I actually did um, a DIY a while ago doing these sort of like cool knobs on this piece of wood. So it's a great way to hang up jewelry. So I decided to repurpose that for this case so I could show you what it would kind of look like. So I took the little bottom bar that is for I think bar soap and I put my post-it notes on there because I love a good post-it note as I feel like maybe a lot of you do and if you do, we are one. And then I hung my keys and sunglasses on the other one. You could totally do that, especially if you're in dorm. Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but I would always forget my keys. So like having somewhere to hang them is kind of nice. Um, and then for the rest of it, I was like, okay, do I put like folders in here? Like, I don't know what to put 
in the rest of it because remember it is wired so it's not like you can put just put like papers on there and then it covers up the top part and it looks kind of weird and I was like I, I don't know what to do with this so what I ended up doing is taking the little Ikea um, holders and putting them in there so if you want to put like your pens your pencils highlighters and stuff like that into those containers that might be a good use of it and then the bottom one I literally have no idea like people seem to use them a lot for like stamps and a, like envelopes I don't have a lot of need for them all the time so like I put my my wallet there because again if you're trying to like walk out the door if you change your purse up a lot those are kind of the staples that you would need so I thought that was maybe a good use for it but like overall I don't know I would rather just get some command hooks and call it a day and those are all of the different hacks that I tried out give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of these sort of um, Pinterest hacks tested kind of video and don't forget to check out the playlist I will put it in either the cards or in the info bar below or maybe a mix of both um, so you guys can go and check that out if you want to see more um, Pinterest hacks that I've tested in the past and um, thank you so much for watching good luck for all of you that are going back to school and for all of you who are like me who are not going back to school but perhaps are reorganizing your office or desk or what have you good luck to you as well because that's always a fun project regardless of whether or not you're going back to school so I hope this helped you let me know in the comments below what your favorite hack was that I did today and if you have any um, requests for Pinterest hacks tested themes that you guys want me to do next and I will see you guys on my next video love you girls Mwah.